Well, hi there. I'm in the process of reinstalling EasyDoc on my computer, so I thought I would just make a couple videos kind of show you how I go about setting it up. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of follow along in the documentation, uh, kind of create a, a visual representation of, of the various steps here. Uh, so the first thing you need to know is I'm using version 1.17 for this video. Uh, and the first thing uh, the documentation tells us to do is to uh, get the user account control uh, out of the way so that EasyDoc can, uh, can write to the appropriate folders uh, to save as settings. So the easiest way I know to do that is just go to your control panel, uh, then up here in the, the search box just type UA, and that'll take you directly to the, uh, uh, the place that we want to go, uh, change user account control settings. So we'll click on that. And over here, this slider will be set to something here. We want to just drop it all the way down to the bottom so it says Never Notify. Click OK and then go through the process that the Windows needs you to go through. I think it'll probably have you do a reboot. So uh, do that before you come back into Flight Sim and finish uh, configuring EasyDoc. But uh, I've already done that. So we'll come back into a, to Flight Simulator. And uh, the next thing we want to do is kind of clear some of the, uh, the default assignments uh, out of... Uh, the control setting here. So we'll go to Options, Settings, and Controls. And uh, you want to do this for, for all the joysticks that you have um, uh, installed in your computer. Um, what I'm going to do is go directly to the Views uh, Assignments. And I'll scroll down and you'll see that uh, by default um, uh, view pan is uh, assigned to the hat switch and uh, EasyDoc wants to take uh, control of that. So I'll go ahead and uh, delete that assignment. And then these assignments up here, this view, next category, next and current category, and down here, previous category, uh, previous and current category. We'll take them out of a uh, flight simulator, and then we'll put them back in uh, when we configure the EasyDoc software. So uh, we'll get rid of those assignments. And now the other ones uh, that EasyDoc wants to uh, control is uh, some of the ones that are related to uh, the num keys, the, the arrow keys and the num keys on your keyboard. I've taken some of them out already, but I just look for anything that's assigned to numbers uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, um, 4, 6, anything that has uh, control of uh, uh, the uh, arrow keys. Uh, in this case, num 4 uh, on the arrow keys, uh, we would be controlling the ailerons uh, if we were not using a joystick. So we want to delete that. Number uh, Num 6 uh, is the... Uh, the right arrow key, uh, so we want to delete that. And the same goes for the up arrow key, the down arrow key, um, and then um, anything that has to do with panning uh, back in the view section. Uh, look left, uh, look right, where it has panning uh, in the, uh, the, uh, the the description. So we'll clear all those out, and it's important that we do that. Uh, uh, if we don't get these, uh, these assignments cleared out of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, then when we go back uh, and, and run EasyDoc, uh, they're going to conflict with each other. So uh, the functionality that uh, you're uh, losing here, you may have to find another um, keystroke assignment to uh, put back in if that's something you want to do uh, while you're using EasyDoc. And you'll see why we need these, um, uh, these assignments for EasyDoc later. Uh, but uh, once you've done that, uh, you can go ahead and uh, click OK, and uh, you'll be ready to uh, start configuring uh, EasyDoc itself. Now, uh, the documentation says at this point you can go ahead and, uh, you know, exit out of a flight simulator and then, um, you know, run the, uh, the EasyDoc config program. And that'll uh, get uh, all of the aircraft config uh, files set up to uh, remember the, the various uh, settings that EasyDoc use, uses. So I've actually done this uh, already, so uh, that'll work for me. Uh, and then we can actually go back into... Um, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and just start to uh, uh, configure uh, EasyDoc itself. Now, the one step that I am leaving out uh, is uh, the one that refers to the Track IR, which uh, I don't have installed on my system. So uh, you'll need to follow along uh, in the documentation to uh, do whatever needs to be done with regards to Track IR. Um, but once you're done with that, uh, you can come back into a, a, a Flight Sim here. And then uh, go to Easy Dot Camera Add-on Show Studio. Now I'm just using the default uh, Mall aircraft for uh, for this particular uh, demonstration, but you'll see it already has a bunch of different views assigned. Uh, but what we want to do first is come back into Options, uh, Define Keys and Buttons. 
Now, this is why we uh, had cleared out all of uh, all those keystroke assignments in, in a flight simulator, because uh, EasyDoc takes uh, control of them. So when we want to move the view around, when we're setting up a, a camera in EasyDoc, uh, we're actually going to be using the up, down, left, right arrow keys, a page up, page down, the num keys, one, uh, two, three, four, and... Um, uh, that is where you get that conflict. If you haven't cleared them out of Flight Simulator and you start using EasyDoc without having done that, then it, it just doesn't work right. It doesn't look like the program is working correctly because these uh, these assignments are kind of fighting each other. So that's why we've cleared them out because they're back in here. Now down here, uh, the default view system, this is where we'll put back in um, those assignments that we used to have. Uh, next in current category uh, is a... You know, so we'll just uh, highlight that field in, in A, uh, or select A, and then previous and current category. Uh, that would be um, shift A. And then we do the same thing. Next category is uh, S, and uh, previous category, uh, shift S. And that matches up uh, with the, the default uh, Microsoft uh, assignments. So we can do that uh, here. And then uh, as we get uh, further along in, in setting up EasyDoc, we can come back in here and, and uh, select our own joystick assignments uh, to, uh, to match up with whatever uh, we want uh, EasyDoc to view. Uh, but for now, uh, that's good enough. That'll just get us kind of uh, a basic setup. Uh, so when we start using uh, uh, these, these assignments and start moving the camera around, uh, everything should work okay and we shouldn't uh, have any conflicts now. Um, so that's that's the basics in in getting EasyDoc set up. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll end uh, this video here, and in the next uh, video I'll I'll go into a, a few more uh, specifics uh, with regards to actually using the cameras. Uh, so have, hopefully uh, at this point uh, you can at least have EasyDoc set up to work properly uh, for uh, the next step, which is actually uh, moving the cameras around.